Welcome back everyone, Esherishi here playing Knights of the Old Republic. So we've just been to a party, uh, it seems everyone's disappeared now, but I'm not entirely sure why. I'm pretty sure I got the Sith armor from this backpack. Yeah. Um, it was a rocking party, um, everyone ended up unconscious, as every good party should end, except obviously me, who was deliberately not drinking, but there we go. Um, so we've got the Sith uniform and we need to use it, I think, to get into the lower city. Get past that Sith guard who was on patrol. So we're sort of going to blag our way through it. <coughs> now, I don't know how this is going to go because I'm pretty sure we've only got one suit of this Sith armor. And there's two of us. We'll see how it goes. Ah, Taris, you're such a lovely place. Although, um, yeah, I'm not sure about the architecture. Anyways, I shan't comment. Right, uh, so I need to equip this. S Sif armor. What does it actually do? Is it, it gives me a defense bonus of 2 and a max expense of 8. I think I want to keep my light battle armor on. And Calf can put on Sif armor. There we go. And we'll use Calf to get past it. Cool. What? Good work. And I can be his prisoner or something? Now, wh which way was it to the lower city? Upper city south. Droids. To the lower city. That's where we want to go then. And that was the Sif base. That's right. So, to the end of here and then turn right. It's great that you got the uh, fast travel back to your base and stuff. It's a shame there's no sort of other fast travel. Although it wouldn't make sense really, would it? Hey, it's a pretty good ride. Greetings and good day. I hope your patrolling goes well today. All hail the Sith. Ah, good. They think we're Sith. That's good. But then that's just a droid. Okay. Another patrol heading down to the lower city, eh? Yeah. Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on. You better watch okay. yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. Indeed. Indeed. It's the same. I'm glad I talked to him, because that's an extra 350 points of experience. And a journal update. So I'm glad I spoke to him. I didn't just go straight down. So, we're in the lower city now. Watch out for swoop gangs. Oh. And gang warfare opens up already. Okay, so nothing but banter fodder, the Volkers are the strongest. So presumably they're the Volkers then. The other guys are Bex. We'll teach you who's the strongest. I don't know. Uh, he's kind of pwned you. Ooh, he's got a good, good little uh, stun bat on there. Oh, oh. Okay. Sif aren't welcome here. Does that mean we're about to enter combat as well? You say a lot of stuff for just saying that, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Flurry! I shall flurry you. And again. Hopefully I won't miss all the time again. Oh well. They haven't yet to hit me much. Ow. Stump up on her. Remains. Repair kit. Not really very useful. Do you have that? Yeah, for Volcar shock stick. It might be a bit better than a stun baton. Let's have a look at it, shall we? Uh, Volcar so shock stick. What's it do? Uh, yeah, two to five damage. It's not actually that brilliant, but it does stun 25% chance for six seconds. Okay, no, we, we won't. We won't equip that. Uh, keep my my uh, vibro sword equipped. Um. Okay, calf. So there are just random gang members down here now. I took quite a beating there. Ah, uh, Twilight Corpse. 
Looks like a crashed swoop bike, actually. A couple of med packs. Haha. <laughs> uh, didn't do you much good, did you? Did they? Wow, so it's like open combat area down here. Roll car guards. Right, well, calf. What? You can go in and start. You can do some normal attacks. Ow. Tough stuff. Let's loot their remains, get a couple of med packs. I'll, I'll need to use one of these med packs in a minute. Okay, so let's use a med pack. There we go. I'm all better now. Volcar base entrance. Now, do we need to go to the Volcar base for any reason? Let's have a look at our thing. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. That probably wasn't much good for you guys listening. Alright, uh, so we need to find what's his name in the ca cantina down here. That's just a jewel ring, so we just need to rank up and do that. Um, right. Just forward the guard the elevator, giving you access to the city. just as easy to gain. This is the Undercity, so you can search for signs of Bastard's crashed escape pod. So a droid. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about it for now. Okay, so nothing we need to go to the to their base for yet. So let's not go in there and just take it all out because there's no reason to. Apart from the fact, obviously, they're swoop gangs and they're just attacking us. Uh, calf, we're down here now, so you probably would want to put your combat suit on again because that's much better defense-wise. So, yeah. So go this way now. See what's around here. Probably more gangsters. Jaya's Cantina, or Javier's Cantina. And there's a bouncer. So we'll have to come back to that in a minute. Hidden back lookout. There's a hidden back base. Now I wonder if the backs are getting all oh, Volcar Enforcer. They're, they're the ones who attack us on site. So these are all bad guys. You can't accept, you know, that uh, we're better than them. Grenade. You ask for this. Let's go. Okay, that probably wasn't the best plan. Sure. Yeah, uh, because they that did sort of help out, help hurt us. No, 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 no talking to him. We need a med pack first, because he's probably going to attack us. Okay, mid pack, good, replace the one we just used. We grenade, just there wasn't probably the best idea. So there's a Davix agent and two black Volcars. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Oh, hello. Hello. Ooh. Oh, the exchange. See, a moment ago they were just the Volcars, now they're the Black Volcars? Okay, Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Tony Pudu! Candorous. Oh, a Mandalorian. With a big gun, but no armor. Mm -hmm. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. I bet you were, Candorous. Maybe next time, I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Okay, so he's a Mandalorian. Candorous Ordo. What's in here? This, this is... 
It's clearly something. Oh, it's a lower city apartments. Yeah, he's not going to talk to us at the moment. So let's keep going along here, see what's. Uh... Oh, that looks like probably the way into the undercity. There's a black fog car there. Let's kill him with a grenade. Okay. Let's not kill him with a grenade then. I don't have any grenades left, never mind. Let's go last one. He's probably going to cough a bit. Pause, cough. Cancel that attack, use a med pack. And not give it to me. What? <laughs> Mains, frag grenade in the med pack. That's good, it's got a grenade pack. Mains, please have a med pack. Credits, just credits. So at the end here, here we've got another Sith guy. A few blaster turrets, a Sith dude, and the Undercity entrance. Now, that's the continuation of the main quest. But we've got to go see someone in the cantina for deer. So let's go over there. We are getting a bit low on health. So once we get to the cantina, we'll probably be able to fast travel back to heal up and then fast travel back. I don't know, if we might be able to do it from here actually, so let's uh, turn to hide out. Yeah, let's do it straight away. And then head back, because we're getting a bit low on health. Transit back, there we go. Cool. Let's continue on. Uh, we're going to the, not the hideout, we're just going to the cantina, which is there. So we are going the right way, cool. So there's the hidden back lookout. And bouncer for the cantina. So let's talk to this guy before we go in. Don't cause any trouble. You leave your problems and your attitude as you left the door. That sounds fair enough. No, we'll, we'll not cause any trouble too much. We're, uh, we're looking for um, Holden, I believe. Gelrude. Who's Gelrude? Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelrude. Are you a ah. Berserk player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. Oh. Uh, why were you banned? A simple misunderstanding. Some of the other Pazak players don't understand the finer points of the game. <laughs> so what if I win 15 matches in a row? That doesn't mean I cheat. Not 100%. No justice. My lucky Pazak deck was confiscated and I was banned from the Upper Cantina. Since You're then, I've been desperate to find deck. a match. Yeah, okay. I'll play. Excellent. I okay, let's only wager 40 credits, because that's the maximum wager, that's fine. Let's wager 40 credits. And obviously, we need to take all of our cards that we've got. Okay, so we've got a 1. Uh, we don't want to, to play a card on that. We've got a 10, that's fine, we'll just play again. We got an 11 now. Hopefully, another 9 will come out. We'll play again. Oh, exactly 20. Oh, come on! Fine. He wins the first round. Okay. Fine. We'll, we'll end the turn. 14. Hmm. I'm gonna take my chances. Damn it. Shouldn't have taken my chances. Okay, so he's winning. Okay, we might lose 40 credits. He's on 20 exactly, which means I need to get to 20 exactly to draw, so not lose the uh, game. There we go. Okay, okay let's go one more. 13. Ugh, I need 7. Come on. Come on, 7. Damn it! Okay, you won this round, mister. You played well in our last match, but luck just wasn't with you. I think you're cheating, Gelrude. How dare you accuse me of cheating? It's not my fault you lost. I'm just a good... Or maybe you need to buy some better cards. Go oh, yeah. talk to Uriah over there. That's a good idea. Let's go buy if some better ever... cards and then win our money back that we spend on them. Um, Uriah. Oh, hello. Oh. Go away. He looks dangerous. Okay, just want to say... Oh, Bounty Hunter. Kalo Nord. Yeah, he's gonna shoot you all. He's supposed to be tough, and this guy has nothing but a run. That was a mistake. 
You're gonna be careful, Mr. Twilight Man. Oh, he's counting. Oh, oh, he's gonna give you to the count of three. Oh dear. Uh oh. You're, you're starting a fight, you probably won't win. Uh. No, he's counting to three. So that's sort of. Three. Uh oh. 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 Ah. oh. And they're all dead. Ah, uh, there's. Uh, I did. Oh, you know. Couldn't see that one coming at all. And that's killing all the Go away. Know. Yes, boss. One. Smart. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to end up like those guys. We'll probably run into you again later, Mr. Nord. Um, anyone going to clean up this mess? No? Okay. So where was Uriah? Because he said Uriah over there. Oh, over that. I always walk past the guy in the corner. Okay. Uh, what are you talking about? I know what he's talking about. Let's skip what he said. Show me what you have for sale. Oh no, but he's still got a pretty good selection, so that's good news. So, oh, plus slash minus one card, plus slash minus three card. They're quite expensive. Um, why is that one, plus slash minus three, cheaper than that one, the plus slash minus one? Dunno. But the um, minus cards will probably be better for me to, for the moment because they're slightly cheaper. Oh, I see. The smaller the um, thing, it the cheaper it is because it's more useful, I guess. Um, let's buy. If we buy one of those, we only have 37 credits left. Damn it, calf! I knew you'd be right about those credits. Let's buy a minus two. Yeah, let's buy a minus two. Buy. And let's buy a minus plus slash no, let's buy a plus slash minus six. Okay, and then let's go gamble, play another sack game. Back Hopefully again. be able to win. Action. Try and win some of our credits back that we've just spent. Now let's take out um we've got a plus slash minus six, so let's put that one in there. Um the minus two in there. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Yeah, okay, so we've got the minus two. Right. So we've got 13 and 10. Okay, so we've got plus five. Let's play that to get 20. Ah, oh, okay. Fine. But we've both used a card, and we've both used a plus five card, so. Even footing. Okay. Uh. Okay, so it's minus two and stand. Ah, oh, you cheeky git. So we both used two cards, but he is winning. Not good for us. We have used more cards than he has, so he's kind of in a stronger position. Hopefully we'll be okay. 18 plus 2 for exactly 20. Awesome. So we are winning, but we don't have any cards left, so we've just got to do this on our own. <sighs> Damn it. cards. <sighs> this could be very dodgy. No, he's won. You played well. 
Okay, I'll be going now. Let's not waste any more credits, because um, we're getting quite low. Damn it, Calf, why did you have to be right? So, lower tariff citizen. I can't wait for the big swoop race. Big swoop race. Here the Volkers have a new engine that's going to break all the records. Yeah. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Yeah. That smells like bantha poodoo. Give us some <laughs> space. <laughs> Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Just a sec, boys. Solbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Solbar? Oh, wow. Solbar's a Wookiee. I like Wookiees. Wookiees are awesome. Complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. I want no trouble with Wookiee. Smart bugs. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Yeah, greenies. Lucky or clever? Okay. So what's in this side room? Big Sural. What? Why are you bothering? Can you tell me if dance or at least I'm trying to audition her? At which point she doesn't have a partner. What are you talking about? Mims Bibsuru. Manager of the Starlight Entertainers. Top performing troupe in this sector of the galaxy. Yeah. Now we can't leave. Ah, oh, sucks to be you, dude. Can't leave. So you're performing artists sort of like dancers and stuff. So if would let me get, go so that I can get back to my troupe. But I guess they just don't appreciate the art. So since I'm stuck here, I think they might as well continue with my auditions. Makes sense. I'm supposed to be auditioning Lynn, but I think I'm wasting my time. Lynn's got all the moves, but I need to know if she can pull them off while sharing the stage with her partner. And where's her partner? She doesn't have one! There we go. I don't perform solo, so I need to see if she can work with someone else before I get her up on stage. Well, some dancers perform solo. Um, I'll be going now. Well, maybe I could help her out. There's not someone just wants to buy, so one shot at the big time. Dancing with someone at the party isn't going to help her cause. In fact, I'm not going to hire her unless she, I see a dance with partners. Maybe she's just going to ask her a chance to ask her, I guess. Okay, Lynn Sekla. There's no way Bib's gonna hire me unless I guess any time to partner. Maybe I should just go up. Uh, why don't you have a partner? My last partner left me. She was always trying to upstage me, even though it was obvious I had ten times her talent. Finally told her that, she stormed off. I guess the truth hurts. Yeah. Okay, maybe. I'll partner up with you for a price. Okay. Yeah. Good enough to get you through your audition. What other choice do you have? Okay. I'm good enough to get you through your audition. There you go. Confidence of movement, so I guess you'll have to do, but I'm warning you, don't screw this up. Okay, so... Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So we just flail our arms? Uh, let's not get too close at the moment. Oh, look at me go. I'm a pro. It looks. Oh, I see. It's uh, the waving of the hands with the. Okay, so dancing close beside her, dancing close behind her, running around her in circles while she dances. No, that's uh, close behind her. There we go. This, this is going to work quite well. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. I'm not sure we're really pulling it off, but we'll see. Good, good. No, yeah. Okay. okay, follow me and please keep it simple. So it's the same waving of the hands and a, a, a no thanks. And then the, 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 the fist pump. Cool. Okay, that, that, that would do. Very close, face to face. By taking a dive. No, let's uh, ruin Lin's audition by taking a dive. Lol. But let's uh, very close, just face to face. Yeah, we're awesome. I'm not sure we're matching her timing just right, but... Okay. Good job, good job. Let's do another one for you if you want. Blackstone, you made it. You got the job. Yay. So let's, go. let's go to this business. Life is fun. Yeah, I wouldn't have made it without you. I'll give you a big hug, but well, frankly, you're a little beneath me now. Yeah, of course. We're trying to go to stop by and ask for Lynn. I'll see if I can get you some free tickets. Thank you. I have 250 experience, and that gives me a level up. Hurrah! That was worth it. Doing a little bit of dancing levels me up. Hurrah. Oh, we get increased attribute now. Awesome. Um, let's go for strength. Yeah. Or constitution. Constitution, with, I've got that plus one constitution as it is, so that would actually give me an extra point. Let's go for strength. Be more useful later. Skills. One, two, three. Four. Yeah, okay. And accept. And we've got implant level two available to us. Oh, we, we automatically get that. And uncanny dodge one. Okay. Uh, let's find out what. Uh, where's our feet? Where's our feet? Do we get a list of our feet? Uh, feet, here we go. Uh, uncanny dodge. Now, what's it, what did it look like? It looked like this. Go. Retains the dexterity bonus of defense even when surprised by camouflage opponents and gain a plus two versus saves on saves versus grenades. Cool. So we're, we're good at dodging stuff that we're not expecting and uh, grenades. Bounty hunter. Okay. Take advice. Stay off my contract. These hunter. are good times for bounty hunters. Oh wow! You surprised me. Small fortune on the bounty speak English. Zax. Zax. I recognise that name. I can't. Oh, Zax is, is him. Okay. Yeah. French, just to complete. Hey, Zax. Yeah, my name is Zax. I'm the one in charge here. Well, there are many bounties available here, legal and otherwise. They all pay quite well. You here for information? Everyone knows I'm one of the Davik's best agents. I'm not for the answers. Ah. You work for Davik? Unfortunately, no. I work for the bounty office, but Davik pays me to keep my eyes open and report to him, and for the means to post his bounties. Davik posts bounties in the government office. Is that even legal? I keep our relationship secret, but since this has arrived, nobody cares what happens to the city. Cool. Enough talk. <coughs> Stop bounties. Are you looking for information? Tell me about the bounties. Two government contracts. One's an assassin named Selvin. The other is Bendak Starkiller. Ah, between them they've killed hundreds of people. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on the list of the victims. Yeah, not all bounties are dangerous. They have got some special contracts. One's for a girl named Dia. She attacked Holden, that's right. Another's for a man named Largo, who owes Davik money. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing. But doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. Yeah. And there's Matrick, he used to work for Davik. He betrayed the exchange and now Davik wants him dead. Put all this information in your data pad. Um Davik's bounty sound more like contract killers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Find the people, you kill them, you tell me. I pay you. Yeah, so if you kill one of them, I'll know. Okay. More details on the bounties, you Okay. Uh, tell me about the assassin Selva. Government bounty. She's a very dangerous woman. When she started, she was just another killer working for Davik. Then she began freelancing to the highest bidder. One day she killed six citizens in the street, and their bodyguards too. They were all Olgas, a powerful merchant family with many enemies. Selvin was hired to kill off the whole family. 
She was very good at the job. Each day more orgos died, poisoned at home. Shot down the street, guards and droids couldn't protect them. After a month there was no orgos left in Paris, not one. Did they ever find out whose side hired Salvin to kill them all? It was never proven, but after the orgos were all dead, the Organa family demanded the government put out a contract on Salvin, so nobody was safe as long as Salvin was still free. The Organa family were powerful rivals of the orgos. Some, some think they were the ones who hired Salvin. Then they tried to have bounty hunters kill her to keep the secret from her. Paris politics aren't your concern, you're just a bounty hunter. You kill yourself and you get the credit. That's the only point you think, right? Okay, I want to ask you something else. Actually, I'll be going now. Okay, so basically I've picked up a quest to go you know, do some bounty hunting. I'm not going to kill Dia or the guy who... Largo, because I think I helped Largo already. I can't remember. Um... <coughs> See, we've got Matrix Bounty, Selvan's Bounty, Bendex Bounty. Obviously, there's Dia's Bounty. Uh, Dia's explained to you that she attacked. Yeah. Uh, Largo's Bounty is not there, so I presume they've already completed that quest because I gave him the money to pay it off. Okay, so let's. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Sort of go in here. Chikach. Looks a bit crazy. No, I can't talk to anyone else in here. Okay, Gacha. What are you? What do you want, human? You come stare like the others in Paris? You think we're strange? Yeah, a little bit. So, I didn't mean to offend you. Okay, you're not here to offend me. What, are you? what do you want then? <coughs> I just came to stare at the freak. No. I want to ask you some questions. What planet from are you from? You couldn't say it. You don't have ears for it. Two voices create the name, and four ears hear the true sound. You're kind of call our home soldiers. A small world far off. The okay, so a long way away. Okay, um... And, uh... What do you know about Taris? Nothing. They're only stopping here to get supplies when the Sith attack. They post the quarantine on ships. And it hates non-humans. Not a good place to be. No. Um... Can you tell me about... Your homeworld? Unless your other head doesn't say much. Nothing that you would hear, at least. I see. Um... What kind of creature are you? In your one voice tongue, you would call us Peridwag. Okay. Um... And can you tell me about your homeworld? Think about our homeworld next to the quarantine of the There's not much to be reminded of it. So really, you're not here to... Do much, you just sort of standing there. Let's it in so we can go back home. Good luck with that. <coughs> okay. So in here we have Holden and some dancers. Holden! Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. Really? I don't normally go for these alien girls. Yeah. But I've had some bad experiences with my own species. I've heard. Lately. Maybe it's time for a change. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. You're the guy who put the bounty on Deer's head, right? You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That witch tried to cut me with a vibro blade. Yeah, and why would she do that? Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know, she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. And I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. Hey, you weren't there. She totally overreacted. Yeah, I'm sure. I, I want that bounty removed. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. For God's sake. Tell you what. I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the I bounty. Don't have that. If you hire someone to kill deer, it would look like you weren't man enough to do it yourself. If I let her get away with it, I'll look even worse. She's got to pay. Okay, um, I don't have the credits. 
Uh, take that bounty off to his head, or you're a dead man. You're threatening me? I work for Davik Kang. If you kill me, you'll be signing your own death warrant. Okay. Um. You can do that if you want, but I doubt she's got 200 credits. That's a lot, and she's just... Okay. I'll be going now. Fine by me. Okay, so I can't afford to do it at the moment, because I don't have 200 credits. Um, again, it's a case of, it's very generous to sort of buy, buy someone out of this. And my persuade's not high enough to persuade him to sort of... thing, but... Um, yeah, sure. So I have to come back when I've got a few more credits. I'm sure I'll get them later. I've got 72 credits. Should I try to win them? I've not had the best luck, though. Um, maybe there's something else I can do to win some credits. Excuse me. There's obviously the... Uh, I suppose there's the bounties I could try and collect. Um, but I don't obviously this guy at the end of the um Okay, so there's not much in here. Okay, let's talk to Mission. Where is she? She's here. Mission and Zalba. Say, I don't recognize you and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Ah. Hey, we speak the same language. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just yeah. prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. Yeah. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... How do a Wookiee and a Twilight Street agent end up as best friends? We just kind of fell in together. Yeah, You're easy makes on sense. your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna ask you some well, questions. you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Oh, yeah. Um... Tell me about Davik. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. Yeah. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations. Oh, yeah. Eben Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Yeah. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Yeah. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Right. Tell me about the Lower City Gangs. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the Lower City. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Awesome. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. <coughs> Gadden nah. considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. Nah. So why did he leave the Hidden Becks? When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. Makes he sense. wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was yeah. too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Becks from the face of Terrace. This so. gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Maybe they have. Um... Okay, so tell me about, uh, Kalo Nord. Kalo Nord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. Yeah. He's killed more people than the Iridium Plague. Yeah. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk so to them. So have I, just he there. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Yeah. Way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. Yeah. I figure kalo has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. Probably. Okay, I'll be going now. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <coughs> oh, he hasn't finished eating. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Okay. 
Right, so we're off. I get quite some experience now. Right. So I need to find 200 credits for what's his name. Um, the jewel ring, like, there's a way I could get those 200 credits. But I don't know. An illegal bounty on the former associate named Matrix could stand. States evidence against Davik and the exchange. Okay, I suppose we'll see all these people sort of later. I know where he is. Um, the best way to do that is to kill him in the arena, I guess. But uh, he only because he only does death matches. But, um, I guess we'll see. Okay, let's head head out. Um, I think we'll head out sort of next time. I think I'm going to stop there. Uh, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.